Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have one very interesting rational equation problem which we are going to solve for the real values of x. Given that x cannot be equal to negative 1 as it will generate indeterminate form. So let's get started. I will write our equation once 2x plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 over 2x plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 minus 4x plus 4 whole power 5 and RHS is equal to 1025. Now we will subtract 1 from both the sides. So let me write here minus 1 and this side also will write minus 1. So once we will simplify our LHS, we will get only 4x plus 4 whole power 5 in the numerator in left hand side. And denominator would be as it is 2x plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 minus 4x plus 4 whole power 5 and RHS would be 1024. Now we will take 4 common from this bracket. So it will come out as 4 power 5 in the bracket x plus 1 will be there with power 5 or 2x plus 3 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 minus 4x plus 4 whole power 5 and RHS is 1024, which we can write 4 power 5 also. Now we can divide both sides by 4 power 5. So RHS will be 1. Now X cannot be equal to minus 1. So we can flip numerator and denominator. So I will consider reciprocal both sides. We will get 2X plus 3 whole power 5. plus 3x plus 2 whole power 5 minus 4x plus 4 whole power 5 over x plus 1 whole power 5 will be equal to 1. Now I can take 4 common from here also. So it will come out as 4 power 5. I will write here 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 whole power 5. We will split our numerator with respect to denominator. So we can write 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 whole power 5. And then we will write minus 4 whole power 5. x plus 1 whole power 5 from numerator and denominator for this term will be over equal to 1. Now 4 power 5 is 1 0 2 4. So I will add to 1. We will write 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 whole power 5 will be equal to 1 plus 1 0 2 4 this will be equal to 1 0 2 5 now we will use substitutions let's say this bracket equal to a and this bracket we will call b so the very first equation which we can write would be a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 1 0 2 5. Let me write here a power 5 plus b power 5 
equal to 1025. Now we will calculate the value of a plus b. This will come out 2x plus 3 plus 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 which will give us 5 times in the bracket x plus 1 over x plus 1. So we are getting here our second equation a plus b equal to 5. Now we have to solve this new system of equations a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 1025 and a plus b equal to 5. Now I will calculate the value of a cube plus b cube here. Using algebraic formula, we can write a plus b whole cube minus 3ab times a plus b. Let's plug in the value of a plus b equal to 5. So I can write here 5 cube minus 3ab times 5. Now I can take 5 common out. So in the bracket we will get 5 is square which is 25 minus 3ab. So in place of a cube plus b cube we can write directly 5 times 25 minus 3ab. Now we will use binomial expansion formula directly a plus b whole power 5. This is equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5 ab in the bracket a cube plus b cube then we will write plus 10 a square b square times a plus b. Now we have a plus b equal to 5 a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 1025 and a cube plus b cube equal to 5 times 25 minus 3ab. Let's plug in. So I will write here 5 power 5 equal to 1025 plus 5ab times 5 in the bracket 25 minus 3ab. Then I will write 10 times 5 50a square b square. Now equation is divisible by 25. So I can divide this equation by 25. LHS would be, let me write here, divided by 25. So LHS would be 5 cube, which we can write 125. Here we'll be writing 41, 1025 over 25, plus AB in the bracket 25 minus 3AB. And then we will write 2a square b square. Now we have to simplify this equation. We will take 41 to the LHS. We will write here 84 would be equal to 25ab minus 3a square b square plus 2a square b square. So minus a square b square. Take all the terms to LHS a square b square minus 25ab plus 84 equal to 0. I can see the factors of 84 as 21 times 4. And if I will add these two, I will get our middle term coefficient 25. So I can factorize directly. We can write AB minus 4 times AB minus 21 equal to 0. Now we will apply product 0 rule. So I will get AB equal to 4 and AB equal to 21. Now I will write our first equation A plus B equal to 5. From here we can write B will be 5 minus A. So I can write here A times 5 minus A equal to 4 equal to 21 or 5A minus A square will be 421. So from here I can write two equations. Taking all the terms to RHS, we will write a square minus 5a plus 4 equal to 0. Our first equation and a square minus 5a plus 21 equal to 0. 
our second equation. Now I will find discriminant for the second quadratic equation as per formula b square minus 4ac. So I will write minus 5 a square minus 4 times 1 times 21 will be equal to 25 minus 84. This difference will come out minus 59. So discriminant is negative. We will get complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic equation as we are looking for real solutions. Now here I can see the factors of 4 as 4 times 1. If I will add both, I will get 5. So I can factorize this quadratic equation as a minus 1 times a minus 4 equal to 0. Using product 0 rule, we will get a equal to 1, a equal to 4. So we have two real a, a equal to 1, a equal to 4. Let me write here. Now a was our substitution if I will write here. 2x plus 3 over x plus 1. So I will write a equal to 1 case first. So I will write 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 equal to 1. Cross multiply 2x plus 3 will be equal to x plus 1. Now I can write 2x minus x equal to 1 minus 3. So x will be equal to negative 2. Our first real solution. Now we will consider a equal to 4 case. So I will write a equal to 4. a was 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 equal to 4. Now we will cross multiply. We will write 2x plus 3 equal to 4x plus 4. Or I can write 3 minus 4 equal to 4x minus 2x. So I can write 2x will be equal to negative 1. Now we will divide both sides by 2. We will get x equal to negative half here. So we have two real solutions. If I will write x equal to negative 2 and x equal to negative half. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.